Good morning, my name is Jason. I'm a nurse practitioner here. I uh, see today that you're here for some low back pain. Can you tell me all about it? Oh yeah, it's been killing me. Okay. When did it begin? Oh, a few days ago. I was moving some furniture and I felt this pop in my back and ever since the pain's been so bad. This happens every so often. Usually I just need to come and get some medicine. I've tried everything at home and like nothing's been helping this pain and just need to come in and get some medicine. Mm, okay, and, and this has happened before? Yeah, yeah, this is a terrible time too. <clears throat> I just started this new job and, and I've already missed a few days and I can't miss any more. I cannot afford to lose this job. I really need some help. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about your troubles. Well, let me uh, take a look at you and ask you some questions and we'll try to figure something out, okay? Um, so my assistant asked you um, and you haven't been feeling sick in any other way and you're, you don't have any major medical problems. So where is your back pain? Just right across the low back? Yeah, yeah, right across the back. Okay, right back does it here. go anywhere down your legs? No, no, it's just in the back. Does it cause numbness or tingling or anything like that? No, no, it's just the pain in the back. How about okay. bowel or bladder problems? Have you no, had anything? No, nothing like that. And you're not feeling sick, like chest pain, trouble breathing, belly pain, nothing like no. that? Okay. Um, are you taking any medicines? Um, other than a whole bottle of ibuprofen and Tylenol, I, I haven't been taking anything. Okay. And are you allergic to any medicines? No, but um, you know, Tylenol and ibuprofen really upset my stomach. Okay. You know, I took it this time because the pain was just so bad, I was trying everything. Okay, so I see here that you don't smoke, drink, or do any drugs. That's good. Let me uh, let me examine you, and then we'll we'll come up with a plan. And I just want you to take some big open mouth breaths. All right, I'm gonna listen to your heart now. Okay, it hurts there. Okay, fully on both sides. Feel me touching everything down here. All right, good. Can you put your toes way up towards the sky for me? Don't let me push them down. Good. I'm if I do that. Okay, so it looks like you've strained a muscle in your back. I don't see any signs of anything uh, more serious than that. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll write you a prescription for some Percocet and some Valium. That'll help you sleep better. And uh... oh, Thank you so much. Hey, can I get that Percocet without the Tylenol? That Tylenol really upsets my stomach. Oh, okay, all right, no problem. I'll write that up for you, and I'll, I'll give you one refill in case this happens to you again oh, anytime. And I'll, I'll leave it at the desk for you so you can check out, okay? Oh, thank all you All right, so good much. luck to you. Good morning, my name's Jason. I'm a nurse practitioner here. I see from the chart that you're here for low back pain. Can you tell me all about it? Oh yeah, it's been killing me. Okay, w when did it begin? Uh, a few days ago, I was moving some furniture. I felt this pop in my back and then ever since then the pain's been so bad I could hardly move. Mm. This happens every so often and usually I just need to come in and get some medicine. I've tried everything at home and just nothing is working. And this is really bad timing. I just got a new job and I've missed a few days of work and I can't miss any more. And I cannot afford to lose this job. I really need some help. Sure. Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear about your troubles. Well, let me ask you a few questions and I'll examine you and see yeah. if we can help, okay? So tell me more about your back. Where exactly is the pain? Is it right across your low back? Yeah, yeah, right across my back, right down here. Okay, and does it go down into your legs at all? Does it radiate? No, no. Okay, how about does it cause any numbness or tingling or anything like that? No, no. Okay. That. Have you had any problems with your bowels or your bladder? Have you lost control over yourself no, or anything no. like that? Okay. Um, Are you feeling sick in any other way? Like no. a fever or chills or chest pain? No, no, Trouble just this pain? back pain so bad, you know. Okay. And how about major medical problems? Have you ever had back surgery before? 
No. Have you ever been diagnosed with a cancer of any kind? No. Any major health problems? No. Lung problems, heart problems, that no. kind of stuff. Okay, good. Um, so, can you tell me the last time this type of pain affected you? When was the last time you've had to see a doctor for it or go to the emergency room out here? Uh, about a month ago, I, I came into here. All right, and have you seen any other medical providers for any reason since then? No. no. Okay, good. And when was the last time you were prescribed a pain medicine? Uh, it was the last time I was in here, about a month ago. Okay, good. So I just want to ask you some other questions about your health habits. Um, how many cigarettes a day do you smoke, if any? Uh, I, I quit smoking. I don't smoke anymore. Okay, good. How about alcohol? How many alcoholic drinks a week do you have, would you say? Oh, I might have a few beers on the weekends. Okay. And in recreational drugs, what kind of recreational drugs do you use, if any? Oh, I don't, I don't do any drugs. Okay. And last question, have you ever had struggles with drugs or alcohol in any way? Ever been through a detox program, go to NA, AA, or any program like no, that? No, I've never had any problems with that, you know, but I know what it's about. My sister, you know, she's had problems with that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is she doing okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, those problems affect people from all, talk, all walks of life. That's why I ask those questions. So... Let me take a look at you and examine you. Um, I'll step out and let you get changed, and then we'll figure out a plan, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, hey Mary, so listen, the guy in, in room one's here for low back pain. I, I reviewed his chart. I noticed he's been here several times with us, a couple times over the last yeah. couple months. Uh, did he mention anything about medicines or pain meds? He didn't in, say a thing, just the over-the-counter stuff. Okay, all right. Yeah. Will you do me a favor and make a few phone calls to the local pharmacies? Sure. I'll go finish up with the other patient in room two, okay. and then I'll catch up with you. Okay, no thanks. Yeah. Hi, yes, I'm just calling from trying to find out if uh, any of our patients have had any. Okay. All right. Thanks. Okay, so this is the info you got yeah. from the pharmacies? Yeah, All I right. called around yeah. to at least three of the big ones. Okay. okay, so it looks like he's had several narcotics, yeah. including one mm, just a few days ago yeah. from a local ER. Okay. okay, someday soon we'll be able to access a, a statewide database for checking this kind of stuff, but until then we'll have to make those phone calls. Oh, that's going to be so important, so helpful for us. Yeah, thanks. I guess I'll see what's going on with him. Okay. okay? Okay, so it looks like um, you've probably just strained some muscles in your low back. Uh, I don't see any signs of anything more worrisome or serious. And the way this is treated is with a combination of a couple of medicines. One of those is an anti-inflammatory like ibuprofen or naproxen, and that helps control swelling in your muscles. The second medicine is called cyclobenzaprine. That's a muscle relaxant. I'll prescribe that for you, and that can help ease more severe spasm in your back and help you get some rest. Uh, yeah, well, well, what about the pain? You know, I've tried all that other stuff before. It, it doesn't help. Mm. You know, they usually give me some Percocet or at the least Vicodin. Okay. All right, well, that's actually something I wanted to talk to you about as well. Although I'm concerned about your back, uh, I'm actually concerned about your other aspects of your health as well. Okay. Um, now, refresh my memory. The last time you were seen or prescribed pain medicines, you said, was about a month ago. Is yeah, that, is that correct? about a month ago I was in here. Okay, well, I actually called some local pharmacies and, and found out that, that indeed you've had other uh, narcotic prescriptions, things like Percocet and Vicodin. Um, in fact, even one just as recently as just a few days ago from our local ER. Uh, well, well, yeah, I guess I did go to the ER a couple of times, but that was for my tooth. Okay, well yeah. listen, I don't bring this up to give you a hard time, don't get me wrong. It's just that in New Hampshire we're seeing a lot of good people struggle with prescription drugs. You know, I take these for pain. You know, I didn't tell you about the ERs in my tooth because, you know, I didn't want you to think I was some kind of drug seeker or, or junkie. Well, but ironically, can you see how um, I'm actually more concerned about you when you don't share that information uh, with me? Um, actually, we're seeing a, a lot of people die of overdoses in New Hampshire. In fact, for the last several years, more people have died of drug overdoses than they have died in motor vehicle accidents. And the other interesting thing is that recent research shows that people who get prescriptions from multiple providers are actually at more risk for overdose death. So it's a big, serious problem. Uh, you've used a lot of narcotics recently, it seems. Have you noticed any downsides to, to that? I don't have a problem. I don't think, I think I'm okay. Okay, all right. Well, listen, I'm more than willing to help you in any way that I can. I'm going to give you the prescriptions for ibuprofen and, and muscle relaxant, but 
based on what I know about the prescription drug history, I, I really, it's not safe for me to prescribe for you. The signs I see actually is that maybe there's a problem here and I'm going to offer you some information about how to, how to get off of those drugs. So I'm going to give you a list. I'm not sure what's going on with you exactly, but I know the problem of prescription drug abuse and uh, I'm going to give you a list of some detox resources that if you decide that you need to get off those meds, um, that then you'll have, you'll have an avenue to do so, okay? Yeah. All right. I wish you all the uh, all the luck in the world, and uh, if I if I can help in any other way, um, uh, please feel free to call. Let's make an appointment in a couple of weeks, and we'll follow up.